Ben now knows that uh, he might be sitting there for a while because the reds are nicely placed. The black is not tied up. It's available into one corner pocket. Full. This is not a bad chance for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah, Ronnie's always been fantastic Five. at closing a match out when he gets one sniff of it. As all the, the top winners in the game are. He's just seem to put that little extra ounce of concentration in every shot. Ten. Eleven. There's no problem with the red uh, next to the black. It goes into the right corner. He might even elect to play for it this time. And that would clear the black into both corner pockets. 16. With such a quick brain, Ronnie O'Sullivan. 17. Those are the shots that are the key to break building. Delicate little screw and stun shots. 20 foot. Past master at that type of shot. 25. <laughs> yep. <coughs> 32. Greatest break builders the game's ever seen. 660 century breaks. And the only person that's in front of him is the one that's sitting next to me here, Stephen Hendry, who's made he probably won't remember, but I think you're just over 700, Stephen. I bet you wouldn't even know the answer to that. How many centuries have you made in your career? I think it's around about 760, 770, something like that. Now this is a key shot coming up for Ronnie O'Sullivan here. 33. If the cannon works out, he's got to make sure he pots the black. Earlier in this match, we've seen a few missed when he took his eye off the pot. Four. Four. Possible plant. What a bonus that would be. What a bonus that would be. Forty-one. Alarm bells are ringing now. Ding Jun Wee. Ronnie doesn't have to do a lot with the cue ball. It's enough open reds. Yes, it was a great fight back from Ding, and uh, it's not over just yet, but we always knew that Ronnie O'Sullivan was capable of doing this. Lost three frames in a row, won the last frame with the aid of a 51 break, and he's well on his way here as he waits for Brendan Morgan to do a delicate little spotting with the pink. 48. Three more reds available, so he doesn't have to career into the reds here. Doesn't want to risk playing a cannon when he can win the frame without doing that. 53. The red next to the pink's available. The one on the right side of the table is also on. 54. <laughs> Well, he's just showing us here why he's won this great title on four <laughs> occasions. 61. 62. And it has just... Six 
seven. Close to another ball. This time, it didn't. 68. From a great opening match of this year's Masters. Great venue. And I'm sure we're in for a feast of snooker. 73. 74. The defending champion Ding Zhongwei knows that it's the end of this year's Masters for him. It looked like a walk in the park. 81. Ronnie O'Sullivan until that 82. three frame spell where Ding got himself right back into it at four all, but in the end, Ronnie has kept his concentration, kept his focus. 89. Probably a little bit downbeat at the end of the but he has cued 90. well. Done very little wrong after the two opening frames. And wouldn't it be nice if he could go out with the first century ever made at the Alley Pally? 97. But can he knock this difficult red in the corner? Get in there, please. 98. He's doing what all great champions seem to do. Is being cheered now. That's not taking anything away from Ding Zhong Wei. This crowd have appreciated his play. Nothing to be ashamed of. He's put up a terrific fight back. 119. All the way around the angles to finish off. Yeah. And 25. Thank you.